All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Enter Player 2. I got my boy, Amir Fontaine, here with me. What's up, bro? Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Thank show. Now, me. when I asked you, or when I asked your people about video games, you said mm-hmm. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Now, you're not a big, are you a big Mortal Kombat person, or you used um, to be, or? I used to be when it first came out. Like, that was my that was my go-to game. That was my go-to fighting game as far as that, but. Because we on Mortal Kombat 11 now, so you're talking like Mortal Kombat X, or or even before that? I'm like, way before that. I was on Mortal Kombat since it was on, like, Sega. Right, like, cool. So yeah. you're so you're like the you're like the pro here, because I'm <laughs> trash at Mortal Kombat. We, I mean, we busted this out just for you. I hope you know that. It's a, it's a simple game. Once you learn, like, you just got to go in the pause, man, you learn the moves. Do you know how to yeah. do the fatalities and shit? Are you not nah, doing nah. that shit? I mean, I, I seen, like, on the newer ones, they made it easier to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I could probably do it uh, on this one. But, uh, All right, bet. Let's, let's, yeah, let's play that. So we're just going to play local. We're just going to do a few matches, talk about um, what you got coming up. All right. Finally. All right, so who, who do you normally like to play as? Because I'm following your lead here. Um, I, I normally play as Sub-Zero. Okay. But Feel free. Play as Sub-Zero. Yeah. I was playing as this... Um, who is this guy? See, I don't know anything. I don't know anything about the uh, the Mortal Kombat lore or anything of that nature. Oh, man, no. What other games you went to? I played like 2K, Ram- okay. Rainbow Six. But I was trying to think of like a two-player game that we play. Now, do you uh, think do you get tired of buying 2K every year? <laughs> I mean, I can't get tired. It's like the only NBA game out there, so it's, you don't really got a choice. It's pretty much an obligation at this point. So you don't mind buying it every year? Nope. I respect it. I mean, they got they don't really change the graphics too much. It's more so the gameplay and the roster. They, they just add a little extra bit of sweat to Kevin Durant's forehead every year <laughs> in the trailer. But and then they drop the trailer. It's just like, all right, so there's an extra like more, some more, sweat some more on gloss his head. on the face. But the same reason why people buy Madden, I guess. Yeah, That's it's, fair. it's literally the same game. Oh, you got a body, me, I feel it. I don't know none of the moves. I'm already guessing on this Xbox. Okay. Can hold that for me. Oh, I was not ready for that. Oh, that's weird, man. Uh huh. Oh. Damn. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. Oh. So you're playing with the fake ass Mortal Kombat Flash. Like, if you know how to use his moves, he's hard to even. Oh, this guy's hard to use, you say? Not not hard to use, he's hard to like get a hold of. Oh really? He's like, he's like dumb fast. Like that? Yeah, like if you can chain them up. I forgot how to block them in Mortal Kombat. What? I thought I see all those environmental things, I thought oh what is that? Mm-hmm. I'm no problems. I'm gonna just get you over here. Oh. Oh, he got me with it. I didn't think I would get you with that. I was trying to hold off from it. Oh, shit. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Oh, Oh, he got that. I got you. I got you. So tell me about your record in uh, in Mrs. uh, Mrs. Fletcher. Um, Let's see if you can multitask. Oh, it's easy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to see the moves. Okay. (laughs) So that's A. All right, we good. All right, so the song in Mrs. Fletcher is uh, my favorite role, which came off of the Macaroni Tony project. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been trying to get in video games and music, I mean, uh, movies or TV for the longest. And so, I feel like you got your records that have like, I don't know, I feel like you're, you make records that have like- Yeah, that feel. That kind of have that feel for it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could totally see one of your records being like Insecure or something like that. For sure. Um, or even in a movie, or like, you know, how they have like, uh, they have like mad hip hop records. And like, right. oh wow, you're fucking me up. All right, hold on. We, 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 need, we need to. I had to install my. my uh, I know. You said. I had you to said. turn up because I got to talk in and in bunch Woo, of ass at the same that. time. Okay, okay. I ain't even real. Oh, okay. Oh, you know, so, yeah. this record is like. So, coming from that project, you dropped like kind of like a, um, a newer version of the record, right? Right. Uh, we just added a second verse to it. Okay. Um, making a fuller song mm-hmm. and something to have the fans look forward to when the actual video came out. Now, right. is that something that you had to do for the show? Or was that kind of just like, all right, I'm going to do this because you was, know, I want to bring it. Yeah. I kind of want to make it new. It was more so for the fans because, like I said, the song came out um, on Macaroni Tony, so that was like oh, like last year. So the song's kind of old. So for the, us to come out with the video now, it had to be more than just because it was on HBO now. So I wanted to give them a second verse at least because the song's already kind of uh, short. Mm-hmm. So. So you wanted to just make it longer for HBO for the fans? Yeah, just just for the video, really. It was more so just something like, all right, if we're going to really re-promote this song again after like a year. Let's at least make it somewhat new. Uh huh. Oh, hold that for me. me. Hey. Okay. 
Mm. Choose your friends wisely. Now your last project yeah. was Who's Watching the Kids too, correct? Or is that just your last project on that they got on like streaming services? Yeah, my last project was Who's Watching the Kids too. Okay. Um, oh, let's see if you do this fatality. Probably not. I don't know. Cause I know they got this weird coin system that, oh. They got this weird coin system that if you want to do like easy Yeah, like the quick ones. But I don't know, I'm not entirely sure how to do the regular fatalities. I could have probably did it. It's right over there. But yeah, so who's watching the kids too? So that was, yeah. like, that was like your last kind of like that was, full body of work kind of. That's the last project I worked on. Um, you got a pretty big feature on there. You got the baby on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much one of my favorite achievements of the last project I put out. What, getting, uh, uh, they want to do new fighters? Let's switch Yeah, we can do new fighters. Um, yeah, just actually working with new new artists, mm -hmm. period, because I don't do a lot of features, really. Um, is there a reason why you don't do a lot of features, or is this... Um, I really like to cho pick and choose who I believe will actually enhance the song, as opposed mm -hmm. to, like, oh, this is a big name, so let's just they find can it. can enhance any record, like, yeah. any well, record That specific song, I felt like it was a lot of energy, and it was something mm -hmm. different that I was working on, I felt like he got that, embodied like, that. baby beat on yeah, it, too. Yeah, yeah, it, it kind of embodied that. How did that. How did that work? Did you, like, meet him, or is it kind of like, you know, through people, through people... It was, got a verse. I already had the song pretty much done. Like the whole, we were going to drop it with just that verse. Okay. Um, so it was, in my book, it was done. But um, my road manager, Veli, he was, he was involved with the, the Philly stop of the baby's tour. Mm -hmm. So he was talking with their management and stuff like that. He okay. sent them the song. He, he fucked with the song. So after he performed in front of a sold out crowd at, the TLA in Philly. We went to Palmyra. We light you had to throw the light flex in there after you performed. <laughs> but not, uh, how, it's back. not my flex. I know, but like you, you know, you like you. I had to give him his props because he's, he's on your. I had to give him his props. Okay. I mean, if it wasn't sold out, I wouldn't have said it. But <laughs> a lot of people can't sell out the TLA, so I'm gonna say he sold out. A lot of people can't sell out a lot of shows in Philly. Right. So the fact that he sold out, you know what I mean? It was a great show. I was actually there for it. That's why another reason why I said it because I was actually there to actually see the show. Mm. Um, he killed it. We, from there, we went to the studio. Um, it also played a part in the story, like, see to see how, oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta get yourself right, you don't wanna get fatality this time. Yeah, I'm not trying to get yeah. myself fucked up this time. All right, Raiden got the Y moves and the A moves, those are the two. Oh, this is GG. Hold on, hold on, yeah, we good. All right, cool. But I might just have to bring it up for, for my, uh... Oh, do what you gotta do? Okay. Oh, that's how you do the fatality. Mm, that's kinda uh, hard. Ah, okay, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Let me see how to do my fatality. We got one. Yeah, Press, yeah. Move list, ah, got you. Oh, that's a little easier. That's easier. Side down. Okay, okay. Bet, 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 bet. We'll try to we'll try to get that done once this fight's over. All right. So yeah. So you got the baby on the record, and then rest was kind of history. Mm -hmm. That's a dope record too. And you got one other feature on the project, right? Uh. Or is it yeah. just the baby. No, uh, you got one on there. I do. At the at the towards the end of the records. You want? Uh, you got me thinking about the track list while I know, I'm trying. I got to, you think about the track list uh, while we're trying to fight. Cause I'm trying to think about the track list while we're trying to fight. Ooh. Second. Other feature. Well, who's watching the kids? Sean Smith is on there. Michael Jackson. There you go. Yeah. Sean Smith is on Michael Jackson in the beginning. See, you tried to throw me off by saying it was at the <laughs> end of the at the end of the drum. Um And I was telling you that um that prom night Michael Jackson and then the the, the baby record were, were two of my favorite joints on that shit. Word. Ooh, let's see, let's see what we got going on. How you how you get up and catch me with that? That was stupid Ooh. on my part. So I know you do a lot of stuff with Double XL too. You do like a lot of freestyles with them. Um, how did that kind of, I guess, relationship come to be? Um, because I feel like you, I feel like I always see that you're up there or you're there. Right, I'm up there a lot, a lot right? A right, lot. right, that's yeah. crazy, yeah. Um, <laughs> I only got one freestyle with Double XL. Um, we didn't, we we're in the running for the freshman for like three years. Um, so like this last year was the third year that I did my pitch for him. So we usually go up there, it became an annual thing that we just go up there and play, <laughs> play him some new music or music that I'm about to drop. And then uh, we see whoever's on the cover a couple months later. Do but, you, so you have to do like the pitch. So since you've done the freshman pitch like what, twice now? Three times. Three times. Yep. So what's the process for like the freshman? Wow, you're just killing me on this shit. It's muscle memory at this point. All right, so <laughs> so how do how do these freshman pitches like work? Like, what do you have to do as like a as like an artist? Like, if you if you're trying to get on the cover, um, first of all, you just go up there. They invite you. You go up there, and it's kind of like a little uh, studio setting. Mm -hmm. They interview you, ask you a couple questions and stuff like that. Like, what music you got coming out? Um, just a regular interview at first. Right. So then you get up and you do the pitch, and the pitch is pretty much just in front of uh, the green screen. Mm -hmm. And they sit you there and they tell you what question they're going to ask you. They're going to ask you, why do you think you deserve to be a freshman? 
what right. makes you different mm -hmm. and um say who you are where you're from that right, type of stuff right, right. so you just go up there and do that it's kind of like an elevator pitch really quick in front of the camera mm -hmm. they tell you to have as much personality or whatever they, drop, they have like the whole page where you could like vote for people yeah yeah, yeah they do that so but i think they already have it in their mind who they want on there they, think i just think that's back, part of the process backwards shit going on back over there i don't want to say it's backwards i just think it's a part of you know what i mean they're the way that they're, they do the way that they do things like so, you think that they have like they have the not the nine the nine already picked out and then they just put the the voting up nine times out of ten i would say before they even start doing pitching they got half the list or more than half the list of who they know that they want on there and nine times out of ten they don't even have to be people that they invite up there it'll be like we already know for sure we want him up there we're just going to have to tell them to come in for the right i guess the aesthetic of all of these people who haven't been chosen yet mm. so all of these people have these pitches right therefore everybody or anybody can be on this list mm, okay but i feel like the list is already made mm. it might be that one person that they're kind of iffy about so they do have the fans like what do you guys yeah, think fans, like, vote. right i feel like yeah. the voting is more so kind of like uh confirmation for them so it's like um everybody knew a boogie was going to be on the list right or the baby. Just, just, or everybody knew the baby was going to be on the yeah. list, right? So it's kind of like just reassurance. Like if the fans, mm -hmm. you see how many votes that the baby like, all right, cool. So we already knew that. We're going to keep him <laughs> on there. You know what I mean? So just to make sure that they're a part of the culture and, and what's really going on. And it's not just, um, you know what I mean? I guess too much social media and not enough of the music support. Right, yeah. right. You want to try to do this fatality? Let's, Let's try this. All right, so it's damn. I got another question for you about it, but I want to see you All right, I'm going to try this. Then you got it? Hey, you G got it! Oh, okay. GG. That's dirty. Sheesh. You nice with it. Okay, <laughs> that was crazy. I was getting confused the whole time because they both look very similar to each other. Facts, you. facts. That's the whole time, I, for, for a little bit in the first match, I thought... I was you and you were. That's exactly what I thought. So I'm like, yo, he's busting my ass a little bit at first. Now I, I look like, Wait, close. No, he's busting my ass. I'm like, ass. okay, okay. <laughs> so with these double XL is, um, do you, I guess we could talk like past two or three years. Mm -hmm. Do you think that they've been like accurate to the culture? Like in like hmm. the culture of hip hop and like who has been hot. I mean, obviously, you know, you're going to have your, your the babies, your Megs, you know, right. blue faces all on the cover because, you know, they got the hit records there. You know, who's really buzzing. I feel like, all right. Media, but as for everybody else and, you know, the other people on the cover, do you think that has been accurate to, I guess, what the culture I'm playing? I'm gonna... I feel like every every year, if it's, if it's 10 people on the cover, right? Right. They'll probably get five or six of them correct. Like, people that are actually going to stick around. For a few years. You yeah. feel me? Like, I think the perfect example was the example with, was the cover with, with Uzi and all of them. I feel like a lot of them. I feel like really, all of them, all of them are, like, damn near blew up. Like, all, all of them, them are crazy. Still around. If not, you know, they're still making music. I feel like there's one person on there I don't see, but I can't think of him. One but, person on there that you yeah, can't see? But I don't that I don't see right now. But for the most part, you got like 21 Savage, Kodak Black. Ooh, I feel like everything. There was a lot of people. Even on if there's there. a lot of people, even out of all those people, I still think that like at least all of them are still dropping music consistently to the day. Like even designers still dropping music consistently. Designer, that's probably what it was. Denzel Curry's obviously still yeah. dropping music and, uh -huh. and you know, they both have their own like, you know, cult fan bases, especially Denzel Curry. Like at Rolling Loud in New York when, when you and I met, like his set was crazy. I, I, didn't, with Denzel. I didn't even know he had a fan base like that. But that's just, you know, he's not from this area, so it's not like, you know, I would I would know that or be a part of that right. fan base. But he's dope. He's dope. Well I just feel like um it's half I feel like they go half in with the culture. Mm -hmm. And then the other half is kinda like what was popping on Instagram or whatever is mm -hmm. whatever is the meme right now. You gotta have that part of the game. Now, um, as someone who, who freestyles, do you think that it's, cause I feel like this year, we, what we noticed was, we noticed a lot of, there were a few people who didn't actually do the freestyles. Right. Um, I, I think, first off, the top, first off, like the top of my head, I'm thinking Gunna, right? Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, I understand, like he, he, at that point, he didn't, not that saying he didn't need the cover, but like he was he was huge as it is. You know, he had the records nice. with Trav and, and whatnot and he was already doing his damn thing. So do you think like I don't know, like do you think that they should that they should even if they you know, even if they're not the best freestylers, they should still do the freestyle videos and and you know, just participate in all those type of things like the ciphers and whatnot. I mean, I feel like rap game like basketball at this point. Rappers gonna do what they wanna do and players feel like they they, they gonna do what they wanna do and feel like what they obligated 
to do is something different than what either the people or the higher ups think that they should do. Uh -huh. um, me personally, I'm a guy that I, I like writing over freestyling. Okay. Um, so I can understand when somebody doesn't want to freestyle for a camera. Okay. Especially when, for example, the double XL, you kind of already won. You don't really have anything to prove. Clearly, you got good music and you go right. You can just say, um, Timmy, 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 Timmy. Right. But even if you can freestyle, like, yeah. I know people that can freestyle that aren't good artists or good rappers. I don't really think freestyling makes, makes or breaks you, especially not in this day and age. Right, um, and then you also have like those, uh, like the battle rappers who are like they're right, good, right, right, battle right, rappers. Exactly. But, like you know, you're, you're not gonna. You're, you're not, not you're not bumping them. that. Exactly. You're like, not turning that on in your car. The same reason why you don't see a lot of rappers going up to the radio station and doing it like they used to do back in the day, because it's right. not like a little bit to do with where radio is now too. But at the same time, I feel like rappers not coming up here to sell a freestyle. Right. When they have like all these personality and all of this music that they want to get off, everybody wants you to spit. Either a 16, got me. off the top of your head, mm -hmm. but even then, that's what people think of freestyle is. Right. I always thought freestyle was just freestyle. It doesn't really have a theme. You're just rapping at this point, you know what I mean? And people get upset when you go up there and rap a written. Like the baby joint wasn't a freestyle, it was fire, but they still chewed him up for it not being a freestyle. The baby, really? Yeah. He rapped that on, uh, oh, on yeah. Flex or something like that. He, uh, not from Flex. It was it's a verse on the song that he had did on Triller, mm. and he didn't drop it yet. But he already put that verse more than half of the verse on Instagram, so people were upset about it. But Wait, I'm here, like, let me let me combat you with that. What if he? What if? Because you know, like like all things in media, sometimes things are filmed pretty far in advance. Word. What if he actually spit the freestyle at on Double XL, and then he was just like, "Yo, this shit fire! I'm gonna turn it into a song." You know, kind of similar to. Um, designer. Not that I remember desi designer's timeline like to that extent. Oh, hold on. <laughs> no, we, we need to make sure that. This here, you want to try to do the? Yeah, uh, I was trying to get it off. Want to try to? Here, I'm gonna let you do this because you you clearly the pro with this. Oh, this is easy. Well, that's true. You could probably do that. Here, kill it. Four. So back eight. down down X. Nice. There you go. So where's that? You say, all right. So if it was pre-recorded. So let's say, so let's say the baby puts the video out of the freestyle in, like, the the trailer video in April, right? Mm -hmm. What if you know maybe he, because you know sometimes like especially being an artist, you guys are always doing so many different things that you know it's easy to forget. Even me in, in media, I forget that I you know I've done something in the past. So what if he like. Did the freestyle for Double XL in January, hypothetically. I don't know the actual timeline for Double XL. Mm -hmm. um, in January, and then he just like he was like, all right, I'm a, I, re I remember this shit. I'm a lay it over a track, and then he just made it into a trailer video, and he probably you know might have just slipped his mind that it hadn't even come out yet. You play devil's advocate. That's that's my that's that's my little um, counter to, to to your argument. You play devil's advocate. If I just did a freestyle for Double XL, okay, and it's supposed to be a freestyle, mm -hmm. and it ain't come out yet. I'm not going to record it as a song, then okay. record a trailer, oh, okay. then post it mm -hmm. three months before the actual freestyle from the original verse would come out for Double XL. Because mm -hmm. I think that would make my push for Double XL look even better if they didn't hear this verse and they really convinced that it's a freestyle. But That's when you, true. but what you said could also be true as well. Like he could have you know definitely pre-recorded it. What I also noticed was I remember when um, Amine. I haven't played as this guy ever, but I remember seeing him in some video. He's I think nice. He's dope. Um, yeah. I remember before I clicked this, I remember when Amine did uh, he during his cipher on the Double XL um, like two years ago. He had this one verse that he that he spit, and it ended up being part of the Wedding Crashes record he did with Offset. Mm -hmm. But the R Wedding Crashes record with Offset came out in July when his album dropped. But the freestyle, but the freestyle, the ciphers and all that came out in early June when the Double XL cover dropped. So it's like, so it, it makes you think, it's like, all right, what, what really came first? The, the freestyle of the cypher or... That's why I say you should just throw, throw out the term freestyle. It's a lot of people out here that, that take pride in their pen and they have an abundance of verses that they can use at any time. But y'all would rather have people pull out bullshit off the top of their head. Like right. a lot of people can, I don't want to say a lot, but there are people that can do that, and that's a great gift, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. I would just say, as long as he wrote it, then it shouldn't be a problem. Right, you know I mean? agree. It shouldn't be a problem whether it's a off the top of the head type thing or not. But um, 
I just guess it's. Oh no, I call it. Let me see his shit real quick. Oh wow, he's got a lot. Yeah, of, he's oh, got some other shit. shit. All right, hold on, down. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember any of this. We're just going. We're gonna make it happen though. All right, let's do it. Oh. Oh. But yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And honestly, that's like. I feel like, you know, if they spit it in the cypher and they want to drop, put it in a song, man, put it in a song. I mean, the baby also put did put his, uh, his double XL freestyle into the song. Oh, that's what we were talking yeah. about. Yeah. So, but I, I, well, because the double XL freestyle on his, on Kirk was called double XL. So it's, you know, like I said, it's like word. really question, makes you question like what really came first. Not that we'll ever know. Man, he's got it's called it's called double xl on on the album yeah, yeah, yeah it's the last song because when he posted it on instagram it's called hallways oh so maybe it was something different mm -hmm. right? like it, it probably makes more sense because people know that it's not a it's not a freestyle anymore so it's like this is where it's from but my thing is i feel like if you're going to freestyle i feel like it's only beneficial really to like battle rappers it's something that you do to rebuttal something somebody just said or something like that something then it shows that type of Ooh. Cool. That was cool. Show that type of brain power. But as far as like an artist who makes money writing songs and then having to perform those songs, I don't see the benefit of being able to freestyle unless you're just making a living off of radio oh, freestyle yeah. appearances. Ooh. Which there are some people who do make a, a living off of radio freestyle Name appearances. Em. Name them. Right now. Well, I'm talking more like up and coming. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, uh, Wait, yeah, still, name right, I don't want to throw any, I have a few names in my mind right now, no bullshit, and mm -hmm. I don't want to throw anybody under the bus. In case we can do it all camera, we can do it all camera, off camera. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> off the record. Because something just happened recently, we'll talk off camera. We're, we're. But, um, here, kill that. He's, he's just kind of very, we're, that character's kind of stiff. He's too small, I mean, yeah, I was about to say he's too small. He's like, well, he's like basically like the Hulk in like uh, Marvel vs. Captain. You got a like time, yeah, attack, attacks yeah. better with him. Um, but I do feel like that there are people out there who, you know, who, who not make I don't know if you if you want to say make a living but who can who stay relevant based off you know if they come up to, whether they come up to a station and do a freestyle or they drop a video and do a freestyle or you know <laughs> yo your man in the back <laughs> okay that was dope it was kind of disrespectful um it was kind of disrespectful but it is what it is I told you I wasn't nice at Mortal Kombat but I'm enjoying myself um but yeah, I do feel like point, I do man. feel like it, in a way there are some people who now like you know they make their 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 living quote unquote um, just freestyling and just kind of doing that and then that's that's the extent of that. So what you got coming up? Because I've heard you got a bunch of things come like you know in the works for mm -hmm. next year, but I don't know to the extent of what you you want to like you feel comfortable talking about. So what do you got coming up that you feel comfortable speaking on? Listen. Um I gotta go to court next Monday. <laughs> I caught this body oh, in like 2000. Oh, so, so I know I'm going oh, So you know, um, I was like, I was like <laughs> it might nah. I know he fucked. He said, "Oh man." On, on camera, I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck." That's, that's the New York version of that's crazy. That's said, crazy. Oh, oh man, man. Oh, man. That's nah, crazy, nah. But yo. right now, man, life is life is good, man. Right now, we just moving on better things. Mm -hmm. I'm working on new music. I'm gonna try something different this year. I'm gonna try to. Oh, try I'm gonna something try. Different. You feel me? We're gonna try to drop. Okay. I'm gonna try to drop several EPs instead of a full body project. Oh, okay. You know what I mean, I feel like I make too much great music, mm -hmm. which can kind of be a problem when you're giving it to them 10, 10 tracks at a time. Okay. Because then they gotta pick and choose which ones that they wanna play over and over. So, so that's why you feel like dropping multiple EPs is, is uh, I'm a spoon feed you. You know what I mean? Okay, you, okay. You good? You ready? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Little, little I feel airplane. Like Frank Ocean is doing gotcha. right now. Gotcha. I feel like Frank, o like, uh, and this is the kind of a weird comparison, but like, I feel like Frank Ocean is just gonna keep dropping new records every day until there's about like 14 records and he's just gonna be like all right just put them together i hope he don't do that huh i hope he doesn't do that but from what i heard these new records that he dropped is off of an album that he said has been done for years so hopefully it's just frank ocean things man i don't know so you got so how many you gonna do next year like what one each quarter or of the year possibly i'm thinking about first quarter probably spring and then probably another one in the summer okay dope and um probably work on who's watching the kids three for the fall it's probably not going to drop in the fall, but it's definitely going to have my mind towards that. You table on that. But, I know how things go. You know, um, yeah, we just continue working on music. Uh, just meeting up with artists that I, I, I personally fuck with and think I can make good music with. Reaching out to them. And just going forward from there. I know at Rolling Loud we talked about, like, your top five. But who's, like, someone, I mean, you know, right now that you really want to work with? Like, some I, whether they be buzzing or even if I don't know who they are. Who, who's someone that you're... You're kind of fiending to work with right now. Um, 
Dream feature of mine is definitely Frank Ocean. Oh. I like the way he writes, I like the way he thinks, and the way he approaches music. Um, J. Cole, of course, is one of the reasons that I started taking rap seriously in my college days. Um, but if I can think of somebody that's a peer, yeah, probably Uzi. Uzi? Uzi or Cardi. Ooh. And I got a record for you. Hit me up. <laughs> you heard him right here. Hit me up. Uzi and Cardi. I actually saw Cardi live this past weekend. He was dope. I seen clips of it. He was snapping. He definitely has better energy now than he did when I first when I first saw him. Cause I feel like I saw him a few years ago at Yams Day when he first like when he first dropped back knowing and I was like, oh, this his energy kind of whack like performance wise. But now he's like oh. he he was nah, it's okay, you hit me. Um but now he I feel like he's got he he's gotten to be a better performer. But Uzi right. Uzi's unmatched. Facts. <laughs> Uzi is as a performer. Yeah, he's crazy. Like, I know we give Bruno Mars a lot of credit. You'll see where I'm going with this in a second. I know we give Bruno Mars a lot of credit for, for lasting as long as he did off uh off twenty four carat that album. Yeah. But like Uzi Uzi might have him beat with uh with Love Is Rage too. <laughs> Love Is Rage too is fire. Cause, cause honestly, like Uzi's been rocking off that one album for what, like two years, um, basically two is years that, now. Is that the one? I don't think about. Nah, I like the I first one too. No, but I'm saying like he hasn't dropped like a new album or anything Facts. like that in like right. in two years. But that's obviously because like contract stuff and mm -hmm. um, and his label and whoever he's with now. But yeah, Uzi would be a dope collab for you. I fuck with Uzi heavy. Who else would you work with? Like if you could do like a um. Like it, with these EPs, if you could do like one dope feature on each one, kind of like what you did with with um like having like the baby on this on, um who's watching the kids too, who would you do on each one? All right. And you could like I'm gonna give you three for each one. Oh, three for each one. Okay, cool. We, we think about three different EPs, three different sounds. Got it. All right. So the first one, it'll probably be Uzi, um, me. Meek would be cool. Meek is in New York a lot. I feel like that's 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 definitely something that you could that you could pull off. Maybe. Also, there'd be something over here I could throw at you. Let's see, little TJ. Oh, little TJ. I bet. Um. Yeah, you and TJ, you you and TJ would be dope. I feel Sex. like y'all both got this energy about y'all, and I think he's like, in terms of like uh people who are up and coming in New York right now, mm -hmm. I think that he's got a, he's got the sound and he's got the energy. You know what I'm saying? Word. He's not like. He's got energy on stage, he's got energy in his music, he's just, overall, is like a, a good vibe. Who else? Okay, so for the second one, probably be T-Pain. Oof, that's, that's a good one. Ty Dolla Sign. Get that, you know you want Or, uh... <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, check that first. T-Pain, Ty Dolla Sign. Probably too big for Post Malone. Mmm. Mm. Get him a move list. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, and then the third one. I'll probably say Trippy. Oh, Trippy's a good one. I'll say Trippy. Big Trippy Red fan. We're down for it. I'm gonna let you focus. Oh. Oh, oh. damn. Trippy. Um. That's a storytelling one. JID. Oh, JID would be perfect. Back in the store. So, new projects coming next year. Mm -hmm. Um. What else? Anything else you want to promote real quick before I let you go? New projects. You could be expecting your boy to start streaming uh, when these games, these reactions to whatever you sing your boy. I'm about to get on Twitch heavy. Um, oh, you about to jack my shit, huh? Okay, okay. Hey, I, I see, I see what we got going on here. You know here. what I mean? You feel me? Macaroni streams coming, to, coming soon. Um, what else we doing? Um, I'm getting back into art. Huh? Oh, you got a Christmas oh, show? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Christmas show in Philly, December 22nd. Dope. Yeah, it's at the Foundry. Christmas show is always crazy. We do one every year. Um, I'm getting back into the art, so I'm about to start working on my concept designs or character designs for my cartoon show nice, that I'm working nice, on. Nice. Um, yeah, we're just working on a lot of creativity this, uh, this up upcoming year. It's just a lot of things I got going on, different outlets. Dope, uh, from, definitely, from definitely streaming, need to have all that. So all that shit, yeah. Dope, Martin man. Well, looking forward to seeing everything you do. I'm looking Appreciate forward that. to these four EPs. Four, three or four? We three EPs. I feel like you said, and, like and you said three and four, but three EPs yeah. and an album next yeah. year. Yeah. Dope, man. Well, I want to thank you for coming up. Thank Thanks you for, for playing having uh, Mortal Kombat, whooping my ass a few times, doing these fatalities for me. Mm -hmm. um, it's End of Player 2, Mir Fontaine.